But uh, welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're gonna be talking about something that I'm constantly being asked, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do the intro in here, and then hop on the bike and take the video on there. Um, but real quick, if you hear me talk with a lisp, like I'm saying right now, lisp, it's because I have some reconstruction going on in my mouth right now, so fixing some stuff up in there. So gonna be talking about this for a little while but anyways I'm constantly being asked about my YouTube journey how I got here and I thought that this might be the perfect time to start talking about it um, we're about to hit 20k soon on the channel so thank you thank you thank you to you guys I really appreciate the support a lot of you guys have been here since day one since I had the iron um, and it's been a journey so with that being said let's hop on the bike and let's talk about it Where do we start? So, let's start from the beginning, guys. Back in 2012, I had a YouTube channel where I basically did reviews on sneakers. Yes, sneakers. I had over 200 pairs of sneakers, and what I would do is that every time I would buy a pair of sneakers, I would just do a review on it and go over the materials and how they look and blah, 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 blah. Some of you guys are probably not gonna understand what I'm talking about, and you must be like, you just don't got it, right? But there was a huge audience for that. I was doing it because I was a sneakerhead. I was collecting sneakers for over 15 years. And it was it was it was something I was very passionate about. Um after a while I just stopped buying sneakers and I started selling sneakers and I started flipping them so I was making a lot more money than what I originally paid for. Um the used market for used sneakers is a lot, if you don't know. Um, I was selling, I was buying sneakers for like $200, $300, and some I sold for $1,500, $3,000 use. Yes, use. Um, anyways, time went by. The channel didn't really grow that much. I had around 2,000 subscribers at one point, and I just, I wasn't pursuing it that much. I would do a video once every few weeks, you know, so it wasn't a thing. It was just, you know, whatever, let me do it. Um, after a while, I got a little older. I had new responsibilities. I got married. I had another kid. I ended up moving out, obviously with my family. And I just sold a bunch of my sneakers, the rest of it, and I stayed with like 50 of them. Now, fast forward a few years to 2018. Um, I got married, had another baby, I moved out, new responsibilities but I still had a lot of time on my hand um, and I, I, I wanted another hobby so, and, and I miss the YouTube thing I miss filming and editing and doing all that stuff so I'm like you know what let me open my channel up let me see what I'm gonna do when I open my channel up uh, YouTube had done this whole cleaning thing and a lot of people had you know unsubscribed because I wasn't you know putting up any videos so I was left with like 200 subscribers so I started doing daily vlogs just of random stuff, me going somewhere shopping or me going on a family vacation or me going there or me talking about this or me buying that randomly, not, you know, like once every two or three weeks. Um, and I just, I, I, I liked filming and editing and I just, I wanted to share my life and what I was doing with people, right? So, let me get in here. So. Fast forward to September 2018, um, I bought my first bike, my first Harley Davidson, my Iron 883, which originally set it set off this whole thing with, that I got going on right now, um, that you guys attend to, you guys view and everything, and I did my first video, I did a review on my bike. And that video did quite good and I was surprised that it got so many views and I was like okay um my other vlogs weren't really getting that many views like maybe two or three hundred four hundred views if anything um some had a few thousand but um that one was escalating and the views were going crazy so I'm like okay so uh, let me do another video on the bike because there's an audience for this. So I did another video and that 
video did all right and then i did another video and that video did good and after a while just it was kind of like a i kind of caught on to it i'm like i i finally found my niche is it niche or niche i finally found my niche or niche and it was the bike thing because I had done so many videos on different topics and they weren't really sticking. I really didn't know what I wanted to do or what where I wanted to take the channel. And with the bike, it was just like it stuck with me. And it was to me it was like I don't know. To me it was kind of like second nature. Like I love talking about the bike. I love talking about different bikes and about the brand and just riding and everything. If I felt at home. So I a few months went by and I would post here and there maybe once a month or so and the channel started growing little by little little by little and then I started posting every other week and I started picking up more so then I started posting a video every week and I would see that it will pick up more and more and I'll have more traffic um fast forward a year later I bought this bike right here 2019 I bought my 2020 Lowrider S and uh, instantly as soon as I bought this bike I obviously started making videos and the channel just started picking up more and more and more and I started filming twice a week sometimes three times a week and I found that that helped me out a lot people were coming back for more content I was letting everybody know hey listen I'm I, these are the days that I upload now I just upload randomly and I still do only upload maybe twice a week three times a week um sometimes I only upload once a week it depends what i got going on but for the most part the calendar is like set to twice or three times a week and i, I can say that this bike was like the thing that kind of took my channel to another level um like i said we're about to reach twenty thousand. it's not a huge number when you compare it to let's say a blockhead a her two wheels uh, just you know there's big people out there but to me 20,000 was a huge goal and I'm like super happy about it and like I said before I, I really thank you guys so much just for coming back and sometimes just hearing me talk shit and the nonsense that comes out of my mouth at times <laughs> but for the most part I'm out here and I'm being myself you know like some people come to the platform and they try to be someone or something they're not and that's the reason why some channels just don't work out you know you're trying to be like someone or it, it's just it's not organic everything that I do on my channel is organic the conversations that I have you know when Jerry comes on the channel or uh, when I'm having conversations with other people those things are always organic they're never planned out people always ask me oh so you you know do you have a script or do you write something down I'm like no I, I hate doing that it, it, it takes away from the creativity part of everything that's just how I look at it there are other content creators who you know they they have a full script of what they're gonna be talking about or they write something now or they you know they're reading word by word by you know whatever just and that's cool and all you know like that that's their thing me, I, I, I like more of a raw type of feel. Um, this channel is never going to be this high, you know, like, movie-looking video type of channel. Like, I, I like the raw, the edginess, the imperfections at times. I feel like that's what makes my content my content. Um, and I just, like I said, I, I, I'm very organic about everything. I Everything comes to the head as I'm filming, right? So I'm myself. Um, now fast forward later after that, I bought the Dyna and the Dyna, not a huge, huge following like with this bike, but th there's a lot of content out there and a lot of people who are looking for Dyna content and those videos, they, they do fairly well. Um, so I, I tend to kind of like, I don't have a schedule where I'm saying, oh, well this week I'm posting the Lord Rider S, next week I'm posting the Dyna. And now that I got the A83, you know, I'm posting this up next week. No. But that's something that I'm kind of working on. I'm trying to sit down and create a schedule where I'm trying to put out at least three videos a week. And those three videos, I want it to be on each different bike. So uh, let's say it's Sunday, I'm doing a video with the Lowrider S. 
um, midweek I'll do a video with the Dyna and then Friday, Saturday I could do a video with the Iron 83. So three times a week you're going to be getting content on a different bike, different subjects, or it could be a discussion video, whatever it is. But that's what I'm working for right now. Um, this, uh, and I'm working on a new segment as well, which I'm, I'm going to be bringing you guys once a month. It's going to be super, super awesome, super cool. And I, I, I cannot wait to share with all with you all what i'm gonna be doing but expect some uh expect some guests on the channel and that's all i can say that that's the only thing i could talk about but it's i got everything planned out already it took me like like four or five months to actually come up with this idea and plan it out thoroughly uh to the point exactly how i want it to be so that's coming soon i'm gonna have my first guest probably at the end of july so tune in for that now with 20,000 being my goal that you know hopefully we'll reach in maybe uh two weeks or so because right now we're at 19,050 or something like that um that's obviously I got, I got to come up with a new goal and i do have another goal for this year before the year is over and that's 30,000 subscribers and at 30,000 subscribers i'm gonna be doing a giveaway i haven't thought about what i'm giving out yet but it's gonna be something for you or for your bike, whatever it is. Um, once I think about it, I'll come up with three different things and I'll let you guys pick. But 30,000 subscribers and we're gonna do a giveaway. Um, it's gonna be something nice, promise. Now, going forward, the, the, the future of the channel is to, you know, keep it growing. Um, you know sky's the limit man like i have so many ideas but I, i'm trying to you know knock out what i have first and go to the next thing go to the next thing i don't want to give you guys the same type of content over and over and over some channels you know you look at some channels and it's just like it's a constant shit the constant same shit all the time and it's, it's a little boring i don't want to do that i kind of want to change the menu up if that makes any sense um I, whatever I did last year is not what I'm going to be doing the next year, you know? The menu is always going to be changing up. Hopefully, we can have different bikes on the channel as well. So, as we grow and as you guys watch, that allows me to work with different companies. That allows me to get more creative with ideas. That allows me to build my channel up. And, like I said, if I, if, if I had the chance to get another bike or another two bikes, that would be awesome. And that's more content for you. Um, that's, that's pretty much it that, that has been my little journey. So since 2018 to now we are in 21, 18, 19, 20, 21, roughly three years, uh, let's say two and a half years because the first half a year, almost first year wasn't really, it was just randomly that I was supposed to videos on the 83. So let's just say, a a, a a solid two years, man, of just content, content, content. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with what I have accomplished. And with that being said, we're nowhere near to where we want to be. And I say we because I consider you guys as part of the team. And if it wasn't for you, then I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be making these videos because obviously you guys show some type of interest and in everything. And I appreciate that. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna catch you on the next one, baby. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride baby oh and enjoy the fourth of july your fourth of july weekend tomorrow's fourth of july doing a little uh little barbecue at the house you know i got a whole feast going down some family and friends over so wh what do you do for fourth of july guys how do you celebrate fourth of july fourth of july is one of my favorite holidays just fyi um i uh, i'll go into it another video about that but yeah i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one baby peace anyway Just in time, it's about to rain. Look at his old tiny drops. And look at this baby. Yay! Yeah.